for many persons who choose to stop working, typically due to reaching a certain age or having sufficient savings and investments to support their desired lifestyle. Retirement planning is the way to go. In Nigeria, the mandatory age for federal civil servants is 65 years, while for private sector, it varies according to various companies. Some of the challenges of the retirement policies in Nigeria include delay in payment of pensions and gratuities to deserving retirees in Nigeria, which could be fueled by lack of accountability, poor leadership, embezzlement of pension fund, inaccurate pensioners' records, and gross incompetence on the path of pension administrators. But what can be done to ensure life becomes for a better for retirees? Generals, uh, joining us in our Buja studio is CEO, uh, SEM Consultants Limited, Dr. Eugenia Ndukwe. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Dr. Ndukwe. Uh, it, it's a beautiful time to talk about this because oftentimes uh, so many people who are probably employed or unemployed, they do not necessarily think about how they retire. We've heard, uh, heard of some people who would say you, they are retiring young, while some people who are still very much in their old age are not exactly retiring because they're still looking for how to make ends meet. Talk to us about the benefit of understanding the importance of planning for retirement age. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about issues about retirement, it's all about us taking our own fate into our hands. And um, before now, we know, of course, uh, the Pension Reform Act of 2014 that carved way for uh, a well uh, robust pension policies that caters for the needs of retirees in Nigeria. However, uh, following uh, the fluctuation of um, the economy, there is a need for the policy to be comprehensively reviewed in such a way that is sustainably cut out for the needs of retiring or aging Nigerians. But again, like I mentioned, uh, retirement planning now has to do with us, me as an individual, and you yourself. What is that are you making to ensure that you secure a future for yourself? And this future is a future that lacks agility and strength, a future where you may not have all the opportunity to pursue all of your life dreams that falls or, finance, um, that falls or cutters for your finances. So um, most recently, uh, there is a lot of advocacy for retirement planning literacy where we encourage individuals to now begin to take um, very conscious steps as regards to how they choose to live their life after active years and like you mentioned for the public service it says 65 years for the private sector you can work as long as you want depending on the policies of the organization However, what we are saying here is that retirement is not just about the, the, the time at which you choose to stop working, uh, at, at the time at which you choose to stop receiving a monthly income, but also a time where you are no longer able to, uh, your strength is no longer able to take care of you or carry you to be able to plan or prepare or, or fund your needs. So for me, basically, what I usually encourage is for every individual, irrespective of the sector where they are, irrespective of their age, to be very uh, intentional about issues that has to do with their future. Being intentional about uh, issues of their finances. Uh, early this year, PENCOM uh, released a figure of about uh, 10.19 million Nigerians having uh, a, a retirement account. This is little compared to the total workforce we have in the country. Uh, this sort of uh, points us to the direction of uh, the issue of enlightenment. How can we increase this figure in Nigeria? Well, well first of all, we need to understand that uh, 
the informal, the informal sector in Nigeria, the informal employment sector in Nigeria uh, takes about um, uh, 60 to 65 uh, percent of the employment value chain. And this sector is not covered under the compulsory pension uh, scheme. So skilled workers most times have nothing to fall back on once they get to that age where they are not able to do much for themselves. So I, I think basically it's uh, all about um, the individuals um, taking these issues into their hands and making adequate arrangements and that there's an increased advocacy for retirement planning literacy across uh, the entire country. Mm. So in what way do you think they can take this um, literacy, this, this education across the country? Because the informal sector, about 80% of them you know, contribute to the nation's economy. And you know, just like we said a little earlier, they walk into you know, that old age. Uh, are there some things that they need to have at the back of their mind? Because some would say, I, I don't even want to use the conventional banking system rather than even going to a pension, uh, PENCOM, where I may not be able to get my money when I need them. You know, those are the concerns. So how do you think we can take this information to them, this education, literacy to them, in order to make them uh, um, pension literate? Well, 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 when it comes to that, um, uh, fundamentally, is uh, uh, disintegrating this information at all levels, and everyone is a stakeholder. For everyone who employ, who has uh, someone working for them, is a stakeholder on issues that have to do with uh, retirement planning in Nigeria. But again, uh, there are much more organized institutions who have been engaged in um, developing programs that helps to prepare or even inform people about uh, issues that has to do with their retirement. I could also mention to you that uh, we have a program coming up called the National Pre-Retirement Summit. It's a free program that gives opportunity for those who are planning, who are interested in planning for their retirement, who are interested in planning for their future, to walk into the summit and get the necessary information and knowledge that would help them to better prepare for life after um, working or for life when their strength is already failing them. And then also individuals can take this course upon themselves to seek for um, um, institutions or maybe schools that offer courses that relate to uh, planning or preparing for your retirement. All right, let's also talk about the value of what they get at uh, the time of retirement. We've seen double-digit inflation over the past years, and uh, uh, there, there's no how this will not reflect in the value of what is given. How can we address it? Because um, uh, if the investment is not superior to the inflation rate, then uh, the value of whatever they will get will be eroded. It is important for us to note that the average uh, monthly pension income for retirees in Nigeria is less than $20, which is about 20,000 Naira. And in all reality, what do you think, or to what extent can 20,000 Naira uh, take care of an individual needs? And especially at, at that age where there are so many other issues confronting them, issues that has to do with their health. Uh, according to the World Health Organization, over 70% of Nigerians, adult Nigerians, have one or two chronic uh, diseases. And for those, and then uh, over 40% of uh, retired persons in Nigeria have at least four chronic diseases he or she is going to be dealing with. The issue here is that how is such an individual able to uh, take care of their health? Looking at the, the fact that what, go, what goes on with him at the end of every month is 
is about 20,000 Naira or less. So um, I think generally uh, when you begin to think about planning for retirement, it's also very important for you to also consider what is your financial state at that particular point in time. So your retirement goal should align with your income. In a situation where you want to retire at 65 and then you have plans to either go into business, you have plans to either go travel you know, or pursue other areas of interest, what are the factors that you have to consider at this time where you have almost everything working out for you? So basically, what I advise um, people who are intentional and, and are interested about securing their future is of course go through what I have mentioned earlier, which is uh, the literacy, seeking for appropriate knowledge, and also seeking for financial advice that will help them to better now begin to prepare for how much money they might end up needing at the time they are retiring. And, and again, one of the issues I, I observe with most people who are planning for retirement is that they think very fast and they are so desperate about, about the, the securing their, their, that moment of their life. And then they make decisions without taking appropriate uh, steps, you know, without being well prepared and informed before going into such investment. When MMM came on board, most of the victims were majorly public servants because they feel that I can put in all of my savings and then in the next few months I have 100% returns. It doesn't work that way. There are, so many other, there are so many other investment options that are available for you that you can take advantage and carefully plan and then um, adequately prepare, use that opportunity to prepare for your retirement. And this summit that is coming up is actually a good opportunity. It's a free, it's a free summit. It's, an, it's a summit that offers uh, people who are, who are very intentional about their future to come in and get a lot of knowledge because there's no much I can... We don't have too much time for me to begin to educate you on this platform what and what you would need you know, and then the kind of investment options that are available for you, investment with low risk, you know, and investment with returns that the, the returns can accumulate over a period of time and, and be able to help you support uh, your aging period. This upcoming summit, because um, we've seen pictures of the, um, the, a the ages, the aged rather, who queue for their pension. Some of them even die during queuing, you know, during biometrics and capturing and all of that. And then we see some people who feel, why do I have to subscribe to this scheme? Because at the end of the day, we've, we've read about scams, you know, from these schemes and all of that. So where is the place of transparency? Where exactly where are we in this country? In the place of transparency, trust. Because if I have to be paying pension, it's like entrusting my, my future, entrusting uh, my end times, you know, in the hands of, you know, a, an institution. So how do you look at talking about these, you know, educating people during this, you know, upcoming event that you, you're referring to? Well, um, the, I would still want to refer to the Pension Reform Act, which is actually what is currently guiding um, the pension scheme in Nigeria. There's a need for a comprehensive and a robust uh, review uh, of, this, of, the, of the policy in such a way that it can sustainably take care of the needs of uh, our veterans. And then secondly, uh, for those of us who are still young, it is now time for us to also begin to look at the experiences uh, the veterans are undergoing and then take appropriate steps and measures to ensure that we do not fall victims to issues regarding that. And of course, the summit, I believe, will give you opportunity for you to gain the right knowledge, the right skill, 
meet the right set of people, and then talk to the experts who are there committed just to ensure that uh, they empower your future. And then thirdly, I think also that the pension fund administrators are doing quite well. They are doing quite well. However, we have uh, existing potholes like every other system in the country, you know, things cannot be so perfect. Uh, but it's now also very important that uh, aside what uh, our employer, employers have uh, designed for us, that's a need for us to have our own individual retirement savings, uh, I won't say retirement savings account, but I will say retirement savings plans in such a way that if it is uh, assets you want to invest into, you know, if it is mutual funds, whatever it is you really want to go into, well, you don't have to 100% depend on what your employer is going to be providing for you uh, at retirement. So um, when they come to this summit, they have an opportunity, like I said, of meeting a very diverse um, um, audience that could really, really help them to navigate, help them to prepare, and help them to Absolutely. Dr. Ndukwe, uh, please, uh, sorry, hold your thoughts. We'll have to, we'll have to take a, a break now, and then we'll definitely pick up from where we're leaving off. Uh, do stay with us on TVC Breakfast. We'll take a break. I'll be back real soon. Dark marks have tried everything. Nivea Lumina 630 works from day one with visible results in just two weeks and 71% dark marks reduction in 12. Join the 1 million women already using Lumina 630 from Nivea. Thanks for staying with us here on TVC Breakfast. We've been talking about uh, the issue of um, pension, which um, has generated a lot of reactions in Nigeria, especially when we have our aged who will be queuing up to get their life savings uh, and then have a better life after uh, years of service. We've been speaking with uh, the CEO, SEM Consultants Limited, Dr. Eugenia Ndukwe, who is in our studio in Abuja. Uh, thank you so much for uh, hanging on, Dr. Ndukwe. All right. Um, I also want to uh, talk to you about uh, the fact that um, we still have some issues as regards uh, protection of data. To an extent, we have a number of uh, ghost workers in the civil service. We still have uh, some challenges like uh, falsification of ages. I, I saw a report where a particular pensioner was reported dead, or he was still alive, but he was registered as uh, someone that was dead. What do you suggest? we should do as regards protection of data, especially for retirees. Well, technology has provided solution for everything. And if we are, if we are really, if the, if the system is really ready to provide a sustainable solution, we can take advantage of technology. Uh, we have fingerprints, you know, so if, if, uh, if I am dead and you have the record, uh, and then maybe, I don't know, someone maybe somewhere is trying, is having access to what is due for me, you know, uh, technology can take care of all of those things. We have, we have quite a, a robust uh, system, softwares, uh, individuals, and experienced individuals, of course, whom we can, we can rely on. We have global um global experience that we can as well leverage on to improve in our own local system so in terms of uh issues relating to data i think uh, if if the, if the system is very very interested in overhauling and improving on what is already in, in existence we know what to do <laughs> we know what to do it's very glaring uh, issues of ghost workers and all of this i don't, I don't think uh is something that we should really focus more uh, interest on. Reasons being that the right technology is there for us to address issues that has to do with data theft within the system. This um, conversation. Uh, talk to us about exactly when uh, your program is coming up and who and who are, are you expecting to attend and where exactly is it, is it holding very quickly?
Okay, thank you very much. So the National Pre-Retirement Summit is a summit that has been designed to help me and to also help you and every other person who is interested in uh, securing and empowering their future, especially those, those, those moments where your strength and agility will be failing you. The program is going to be taking place on the 10th and 11th of July here in Abuja at uh, Sheraton, the former Sheraton Hotel, which is now the Abuja Continental Hotel. And it's absolutely free. We are going to be having uh, expert uh, speakers who are coming from the global environment and also from our local uh, environment to share with us insights on how we can better plan and prepare for our retirement. That's, that is the reason why we call it pre-retirement um, summit. And the interest about it is that we don't have age specification. You don't have to be 30. You don't have to be 60. Even a 10 year, 20 years old child can begin to think about their future. I don't know how much you have really planned or set for your future. So if you have time, I will also give out this invitation to you to make sure that you come over there because um, you will have an opportunity of meeting with experts. So thank you very kindly, and thank you for extending that um, kind gesture, you know, to us. Definitely, uh, our organization actually looks into, you know, ensuring that we also retire better. Thank you very kindly, uh, CEO, Sam Consultants Limited, Dr. Eugenia Indukwe. Wish you well. Uh, best, of luck, uh, best of luck in all your endeavors in helping the, uh, those who will be retiring real soon. Thank you.